Maganda yung sa buhol, yung activity ng kabarong. Ay! Torbo naman. Narinig niyo na ba yung nanonsin ni Father tungkol sa seminaryo? Seminaryo? Di ba yung nag-aaral yung mga seminarista? Seminarista? Seminarista. Seminarista. Di ba sila yung mahilig magdasal? Ako ko lang. Ano kayong pinagagagawa ng mga seminarista sa seminaryo, no? Hmm? Ah, oo nga. Si Narinig ko na sinabi yan ni Father. Paano kayo mag pumasok sa seminaryo? At para maging seminarista, no? Paano nga? Paano nga? It comes from two Latin words, semi that means seed and army as a plot or seedbed. It is a seedbed wherein just like seeds where it's being molded in seedbed before it's being transferred. The essential theological seminary is uh, one of the seminaries of the Iglesia Filipina Independiente where students are being moved to become priests and later on are transferred in a place where they can bear fruit as ministers of God. The seminary formation, theological and theological education formation, is actually divided into many aspects of the community. This is the community life wherein they are developed to have the capacity to communicate and have skills, the competent competency to, to resolve conflict, to manage their life, and to be open and receive feedback as a person. And being trained also in community life is to develop themselves to become a, a habit of uh, a behavior of uh, a positive behavior I can say and to have an attitude of creativity and initiative in their work a life of cooperation wherein it's so important to become a, in being a priest to really be a, a person that emerges and cooperate with the people. One very special aspect that we need to consider in the community life is for uh, it is a seminary community living in a greater source of strength for the student's development into a mature, responsible and self-reliant Anglifian seminarian. Uh, moreover, it provides also for the students to have an authentic experience of Christian community that we expect that, that we expect to happen inside the community.
twice and thrice a day to develop themselves in their relationship to our God. At the same time, uh, in this relationship, worship is so important. And they are more not just in their everyday prayer, but they are uh, trained to have their own meditation, reflection. We have our retreats and services of reconciliation, which is actually very important for a student. And, and this is in, in a way for them to witness the, the word and deeds of Jesus Christ within the community and to show it uh, themselves in, in their lives, uh, to have a life that is rooted in the Spirit. And another very important aspect of molding inside the seminary is the academic life. It's very clear in the vision, mission, goal of the seminary that academic excellence is also a priority. It is to develop their growth, their confidence, their assertiveness as a person, and to enable them to become self-worth in their academic life, in their academic formation. And through this, deepening their faith, as we always talk of theology as the faith that seeks understanding, that's why academic life is so important. And in this academic life, they are being molded to study theology, biblical studies, history, and pastoral studies. And in here, they are developed, they are actually formed to have a habit of uh, studying. That's why they are required to go inside the library. And through readings and through lectures, for them to have a limited analytical and critical mind in uh, giving right judgments to the learning that they received and that they discovered uh, within their period of stay in in the seminary. And the important thing also here is that to inculcate students, not just uh, the learning that we get from, from the western part of the world, but also in their learning to inculcate the Filipino identity, especially the identity of the Iglesia Filipina its nationalist heritage, heritage and its tradition.
we admit students who are at least 18 years of age, male or female, and must have garnered 72 units in any college or university uh, from courses from arts and letters, and with the grades of at least 80% of general weighted average. He, must, he or she must be an active member of person who can communicate well in English and in, 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 in the Philippine language and in, in uh, their dialect, mature and respected person. Uh, the person must be endorsed by the Paris Council and the Paris Police, uh, must be recommended by the Board of Commission of the Diocese, the signature order coming from the bishop, and uh, must have a certified by a licensed doctor uh, to be mentally and 